It's episode two. <coughs> so we, uh, we've had a couple creepy moments so far. I'm not sure exactly if this is a creepy game. I really don't know much about it, but I'm getting creeped out because I'm a chicken. And yes, I'm leaving every door open. Uh, so far though, it looks like... So far, it uh, looks like... We just got home from a trip, and we're trying to... See if anybody's here, and nobody's here so far. It looks like your dad's... Hi Lonnie. Who the fuck is Lonnie? So if you wanted me to come, if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that'd be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too. So hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to. We can meet at the parking lot for six. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. I'm going to kick your butt. And get ready. I'm assuming it's a street fighter. So you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to oh, street locked. fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. Oh, of course it's a psycho she's house. She's coming over tomorrow. Aw, she made a friend. Aww. I can't remember if I went in here or not. I think I did. I just think I closed the door because I'm an idiot. Oh, no, the door's gone. Why wouldn't it be? Can I check in here? Yep. Oh, shit. It's right where I did not want to go. Control burn. Yeah, whatever. So it's kind of funny, I'm talking about a controlled burn when we just got out of fire watch. Oh, fuck this hallway. Temporary personal transfer. Looks like our mother is a senior conservationist. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is, like, instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour, and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home, and she gave me this tape, and said, You have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're so cool, cool. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, too. Cool, small. <laughs> Dude, why is everybody just like to leave their fucking wires here? And composite? I mean, come on. Oh. Super Spitfire. Where the fuck is the Super Nintendo at, man? What's that? Oh, it's just a sticker. Sam had this in like fourth grade. Red book, Holy Bible. Use 
useful there. Ooh, what's this? Hi Lonnie, I wrote this in first period and left in your locker. Hiding under the pillow. Oh, it's Steggy. Whatever the fuck Steggy is. That plant like it makes it look like there's a dude holding a camera like right outside the fucking window. Okay. Pulp fiction. brought her hair dye over today. I'm pretty convinced it's she about said, blood. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. Sam it's sounds like a serial intimate, killer. Right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, you're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited, and the moment was gone. Moment's always gone. Too many concern. I, Samantha Greenberg, I'm 17 years old, and therefore independently fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city. Oh wow. You're damn right I left every house, or fucking how, light in the house on, because it's fucking dark in this house. Give me light. Ooh, mom got any money in her purse? Mom did not have any money in her purse. Hmm. Okay, do we have enough fucking telephone directories in this house? Better start fucking closing the Whoa, what the fuck is that pot? Oh, it's jeans. I'm like, damn man, that's a little pot. Ooh, a condom. Lubricated condom. <laughs> Dad mom fucking getting it on. Okay, here we go again. 
the fuck is with this? I would like to know why they call this Psycho House. Huge closet, dude. Whoa. A ghost game. Ghost mansion. I'm so scared. Dear Jan. Uh. Okay, nothing important there. Fuck this bathroom. Huge, dude, I want that shit. Ooh, rediscovering your spouse. came from. I go down dark and spooky hallway. Ain't no way I'm going in there. Zero percent chance. Read note. Okay, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice they weren't around to do it. You can use them if you want. Won't be needing any more, Sam. Hey Sam, you were asking, I think that says, what my rifle team, okay. Oh, apparently Lonnie is in some kind of military. Tall shadow on the upstairs hall. Okay, so these are ghost sightings. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note, I was not wearing my glasses. September 3rd, 1994, 12.44 a.m. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. It said, Hella. The fuck was that? We'd be closing this door. So like I was completely confident now this game is spooky again. Okay, voice okay, uh probably was it did not investigate, probably was the furniture. Jesus Christ, man, my heart just stopped. <laughs> Poured milk from cart and fridge, it was spoiled. Pretty sure I read spirits and sour milk. Lonnie says she felt a presence in the TV room. I suddenly began to feel cold. We put a protective... Oh, so that's why the pillow fort's there. Lonnie and I did employ an Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. So it's the guy who gave us the house. It's haunting it. Enlisted Lori, or Lonnie, to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any sense of otherworldly. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in attic. Probably due to leaky roof. Sample taken just in case, despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. Okay, ain't no way I'm going in that fucking attic, though, motherfucker. Fuck, give me light.
Oh, she got a little bit more light. Oh, there we go. Performance evaluation. Wow. Our mom's exemplary. She's a ranger. Oh. It's our mom evaluating Richard Patterman. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving <laughs> together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, how do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. I think uh, Sam might be playing for the other team. I've been getting that sniff for a while now. Son of a bitch. Oh, good, it's locked. Which begs the question I do believe I've investigated the entire house. And I have not found any new keys. Man, these noises are fucking with me. Oh, I didn't see that locker before. I miss how the fuck did I miss a locker? I don't know. Why oh, I hit in there? Oh, it's a combination locker. Okay, there might have been one in... Oh, I didn't see that before. seeing anything about a combination. That being said, I did rush through a few documents because I didn't think they were relevant.
reading this. No, nothing in there either. Passage, I hit it, Oscar's creepy stuff in it. That's just rain hitting the windows, that's all that is. <laughs> so, library. remember a library up here. No, nothing. Maybe it's downstairs. <coughs> okay, I know what they're talking about then. Yeah, I guess that is a library. Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over, I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. Yeah. I just nodded my head, and Oop, I there really we hope go. she could tell. So I really exactly hope wasn't, uh, that she meant fuck, what I fuck, think fuck. she did. I felt like a shook-up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Hidden compartments found three. Library upstairs hall. Foyer evidence of the supernatural discovered zero. So there's also one in the foyer apparently. Okay. Not creepy at all. Apparently in the hallway before, between Sam's room and the guest room, there's one as well. Which would be... Yep, right here. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a fucking Ouija board. Oh, combination. Hello, hello, who are you, Oscar? What do you want to do to come back? Third one was in the foyer. Nothing creepy happened, nothing creepy happened, nothing creepy happened. So 
it looks like it's literally over here. Oh, there we go. Private do not read. O fifty one. You watch like all the doors slam now and it's like ha 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 you will die. I have to fight Shao Kahn in Mortal Kombat 3. Fuck Shao Kahn. What was that again? O fifty one. Ooh, cigarettes. That must be Lonnie. Lonnie came over today. But everything was different. She was sitting at my desk yep. chair. And she wouldn't look at me. Finally I asked her what was going on. She, she, she has like a crush on Lonnie, no doubt. Basement key. Like I must think But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. Is this the basement, I maybe? Lonnie... Well, really don't want to go to the basement. Do you think... You... Could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> okay, the she's either a lesbian or a psychopath, I can't tell which. Okay, two basement it says right there. Oh, I really don't want to go to the fucking basement. You know what, actually? We will be back next episode. <laughs>